All right, Coach, you can start us off with local comments. Um, unfortunately, I knew it was going to be a uh, kind of felt like it was going to be a scoring fest, and um, we, we didn't keep up with the score. And so, you know, we had some chances, I thought, to uh, to really keep the game close and, and stay in it and, and keep the energy high and, and the motivation high, and, and, and we failed at it. And whether it's the uh, I thought the pick in the end zone was critical. Then the fourth down, the first possession in the third quarter was uh, was crucial. And uh, you know we, we, we obviously did not stop them uh, all night. And uh, and so we had to score with them, and we, we failed to do that. And so it's uh, it stinks. It's disappointing. It's uh, I hate it for our fans. I hate it for our, our university. I hate it for our seniors. Hate it for everybody involved in our program, our supporters. It's uh, it's not the way you want to end the season. We've uh, been in five of these, and I hate the hate the feeling in the two losses that we've had. And we've got a lot of work to do to uh, to get back to where we want to be, you know, starting in the off season and then spring ball for sure. And uh, but it's a very disappointing night. All right, raise your hand. We'll bring the microphone to you if you have a question. Hugh, did you sense that the emotion left your guys after State scored following the failed fourth and one in the third quarter? Uh, definitely. I thought the energy in the whole place kind of, uh, kind of kind of went down for sure. There was good energy there at the beginning of the second half on the sideline in the stadium, and uh, there was no question that that was a, that was a crucial play. You mentioned having a lot of work to do defensively. Now that it's over. How, just how extensive of a rebuild do you have to do on that side of the football? We've got to look at everyone and everybody. Um, it, it's uh, we were not good, and when you can't stop their their base stuff, it's uh, you know we we've got to figure out is it uh, is it process is it people what, what exactly is it? But we we've got a lot of young kids over there that I think have potential to be good. We've got some good ones here that we redshirted. Um, but uh, we've got to go recruit better, and then we've got to do an exhaustive study on all of our uh, staff and system. Along those lines, it was obviously announced today that Dave is retiring. Um, how far along are you at all on a defensive coordinator hire, and will that person have, um, I guess, some ability to bring in people to work with of his own? Hey, I'm not, not far along. I, I really believed uh, that, uh, that Dave deserved you know, to finish without a lot of distraction. And uh, he's been in this business for 38 years and he's done some remarkable things. He's impacted young men and uh, he's the type of guy you want in the profession. He, he really uh, cares about young men and he's been very good at it for a long time. And uh, it's time for he and Leslie to go and enjoy some time and then time for me to, to figure out what direction we go next. And the uh, first step will be, you know, getting the guy that you want to coordinate it and then uh, going from there. Now that the season is over, just what's the main thing you kind of learned from such a tough season like this? Yeah, it's it's been the, the toughest of my professional career, and uh, um, whether it be from uh, the disappointments to the injuries to, to everything that's going on around our program, and it's just been it's been a very very difficult season. And um, I know that the testing of your faith it, it, it produces endurance and. And uh, we'll find out if, if, if you're genuine and who you say you are and all those things. And it's tough at times, and it's, it's, uh, it's a battle. It's difficult. And uh, it's tough on your families. It's tough on, uh, you know, everybody around, uh, around the building. So you find out a lot about who you are and a lot about uh, who everyone is, you know, that's with you. And you've got to, you've got to learn how to fight through it. And um, we can't wait to – I'm glad the season's over now. It's been difficult, and can't wait to hit the road recruiting and um, and get the cha necessary changes made and get the spring ball. This is maybe a bit premature, but uh, what, what would you be looking for in a defensive coordinator after the season that you guys just had? Uh, a, t a toughness that uh, that he'll bring to our kids, energy, um, obviously. You've got to fit with our core values and who we are, and uh, I'd love for him to be a great mentor of young men. But uh, but really, toughness and uh, physicality uh, defensively that, uh, that that he he demands that energy from him, 
and that work every day. Also, there's the struggles offensively in the second half. What were some of those reasons that kind of, in your opinion, jumped out at you as to why that was the case? <coughs> well, I mean, we had 500, and, I don't know, 30 something yards, but we didn't get the points. I mean, we, we obviously had some bad calls there on fourth down and and then a turnover and, you know, we just, you know, that we've got to coach them better. Um, we've got, we probably expected a, a, too, a little bit too much out of shape. Um, I think everybody did. And, and it's, it's kind of unrealistic to expect him to understand every everything he's seeing, you know, with the limited reps he's had. but. There's no doubt we've got to prove there too. I mean, we we were bad on defense all year, but uh, offensively we uh, we declined. Now some of it's you know we lost some really good experienced players, but uh, but we've got to we've got to take a look on that side also. You, you, you touched on this a little bit during the week, but having seen it now for three games, do the receivers catch Shea's ball differently? Is there a little bit of a struggle there? Obviously, there is. Um, I can't imagine. It's got the, you know, right-handers have the same spin. So, but it, it uh, we certainly have not caught it as well the last uh, two games for sure. Uh, I don't remember A and M being being uh, a lot of drops, but we certainly have had our share in these last two games that were costly. Is that something that corrects you think just with time and yeah reps? I mean, they just haven't had a lot of reps together yet, and uh, you know, and again, I don't know that it's that it's uh, a lot of difference in, in the ball. I mean, Chad's probably got a little stronger arm. Maybe the timing's off just a little. I, I don't know, but reps can correct that. Was there, I guess, was tonight kind of a low point for the season or, or had it come earlier where the team, you know, just started to just kind of trend the wrong direction? I know there's an injury or a game or something yeah. that kind of... I mean, there, there's a lot of low points, but this is, this is, this is when, you, when you lose this game, it's, it's low. All right. uh, questions up top? Coach, over these last three games, how would you rate Chase's performance over these last three games? Um, you know, I thought he competed, competed well and... Um, you know, again, the, the mistakes he's making are really not physical as much as they are mental. He made a, he made a couple throws tonight that I thought, uh, he, you know, if he had them over, he would make better throws, but it wasn't a lot. I mean, um, but just kind of knowing situations, fourth and inches, or, you know, just uh, most of it's just mental that's going to come because he understands the game. But it'd be hard to argue. I mean, he moved the ball effectively, and uh, I thought had a lot of drops last week, had some tonight. Um, that, that probably make him play even better. So I, I'm, I'm satisfied at this point. I think he's a great piece to build the future of this program offensively around. Are there any more questions up top? All right, thank you, Coach. Thank we'll you. have players in.